Cam here at All Things Automotive, and today we have a 2014 Toyota 4Runner, and this is actually the limited trim, right around 86,000 miles on this one. It's gonna do a little walk around here, show all the chrome up front. These 4Runners always look aggressive on the front end. It's got the big wheels, painted wheels with the machine faces on them. You can see pretty much like new brakes and rotors in there. Tires are magnificent. So we got a full matching set and a Goodyear Dueler tires on there. Take a step back, see the full side of it. Nice metallic gray color. Like I said, you can see it is a limited trim. Take a walk around to the back. You can see big hatch on this. I think this one actually has the power sliding rear window as well. It does have the backup cam. You can see that right there. Plenty of room in the back on this one. Does have a four runners branded mat in the back to keep your carpet uh, clean. Also, you can see there it does have a plug ins in there if you have to charge your phone or anything in the back. Go ahead and close this one down. On the inside, you can see it does have looks like WeatherTech floor mats in there. All weathered up on the inside though for the seats. Plenty of room in there. On to the inside. We'll start here on the driver's side. You got all your window controls and electronic controls for windows, locks, and mirrors. It does have a couple presets for the seat as well as the seat is electronically adjustable. See a little bit of the leathers coming off the seat there. Right. So left side of the steering wheel here does have your mirror adjusters as well. Like I said, I thought it was on the door, but it's actually here. This is your dimmer scroll for your dash lights. And it does have your park sensor switch right there as well. Left side here on your knob is your turn signal as well as your headlight controls. Um, back side over here is all your wiper controls. Um, one thing I like about Toyota is they actually have their cruise control set behind the steering wheel. So if you're holding your hand here, it's easy just to hit it with your finger and set it and everything. Um, let me go ahead and just light this up. There we go. 86, 898 at the time of the video. So this uh, directional pad here, I believe, is for sourcing the radio and everything. Yep, there you go. See, I just switched it over to navigation. Um, obviously, you can have your radio mode change here if you if you hit this button. You see, it changes the aux there. Video, AM, FM, and back to Sirius radio. So, um, volume controls are below that. Over here, your controls for your hands-free talking. Um, as far as the radio goes, it is all touchscreen, I do believe. So we can actually go ahead and just like touch things there. Have the full navigation screen if you want. Um, at the home screen here, just original back to that. It shows what radio channels and stuff, and if you have your phone connected and everything, uh, what all is going on there. It does have a CD player slot above that. Um, it does have your dual zone climate, so your temperature for the left side or where your driver's side is over here, passenger side is on the left. Um, this is your temperature control on the right. You see it changes there. And your temperature control on the right, or that's this left. On the right is over there. Um, does have your heated seat temps, it looks like down here actually it has heated and cooled seats. You can actually see that right there, and these are controlled by scrolls. Um, I think you just, I'm not sure how they turn on and off, but you can set stuff like that. Um, down below that is a USB as well as an auxiliary plug-in. Um, does have your four-wheel drive selector right there, right beside the cup holder, and then does have the other, the passenger's cup holder right here, with a cell phone holder as well. Um, like I said, it does have the power rear window, so we can actually... It's an auto one, so you can press it down and it'll go down. Or you have to hold it up and it'll go up. In the center console, you can see there's plenty of extra storage in there, as well as another 12 volt plug in for cell phones. And then there's a business card holder and cell phone holder and stuff like that up there as well. Uh, up on top, it does have a sunroof. As you can see, that all the controls are here in the middle for your sunroof. It um, does have illuminated visor on the driver's side, as well as the passenger side. See that? Take a look in the glove box. It's a little button here you press. It has the factory books in there, as well as the safety checklist sheet that we fill out. Be sure to check that out. Um, goes over everything on the vehicle. Make sure everything's safe for you and your family. So um, we'll go ahead and just do a final walk around here. Show you everything um, about the vehicle we can. We try to be as upfront and, and about everything that the vehicle has. Show you all the great things it has, as well as any minor flaws it may have as well. So I, know I just said have right there a lot, but it'll be okay. See here, a couple of stone chips across the front. side air covers look good lights up roof looks good looks like there might be a little ding right there on the roof you can see that 
Walk around the back hatch. You can see everything looks good here. Let's have one minor little ding right there, if you can see that. Take a walk down the passenger side now. Sorry guys, it is raining. I don't know if you can hear it or not. It's kind of annoying if in this little building with the roof up top. So, But if you guys have any questions about this 4Runner, please feel free to give us a call at 717-485-4224. Sales extension is 1502. If you don't have time to give us a call, you can always look us up on the web at allthingsautomotive.com and request information about this 4Runner as well as any other vehicle we have in a lot directly through our website. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day.